Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? All those wacky guys over at Everlast, they sent me a new plasma cutter to play with. It's a Power Plasma 62i, and it's got some cool new features. It comes with this really nice uh, IPT60 torch, and it even has this little trigger guard on it to keep you from inadvertently lighting the torch off. And the cap is just the right size where I can put my little training wheels on it, and that just helps me get a nice smooth cut. It's really, really handy. And on the control panel, you've got your selector here for either auto restart, tip saver mode, or gouging mode. That's one of the new features. On this side, we've got a lock for the control panel. So you can set your, get your settings just the way you want it and then lock it so nothing gets bumped, nothing gets changed. And of course your CNC selector, which is another new feature. <laughs> and there's your amp display cutting pressure, air, air pressure, and your post flow adjustment. And once you fire the machine up, you see the 60 amp display. So it only goes to 60 amps, not 62. Cutting pressure pressure regulators on the back of the machine, but when you turn it, you get a, a difference up in here. And once you get it adjusted where you want it, you can just push down on the pressure regulator knob and it locks itself in the place. And one of the cool functions with this pressure display, cutting pressure display, it doesn't matter where you set your amperage, you come to the back of the machine and you start playing with the pressure regulator, and you're going to see the pressure went down, but it also dropped down into the yellow. If I drop it off more, it's all the way down into the red, and now you get an error code saying not enough pressure. So this just helps you dial in your pressure, air pressure for cutting. 60, it goes into the green. At 73, it goes high side. You know, it goes a little too much pressure telling you back it off so you don't hurt the machine. And of course, the pressure you're going to run, the air pressure you're going to run, is directly related to not only the amperage, but the size of the nozzle that you have. You know, the, the, outs, the, the hole in the end of the nozzle. Smaller, lower pressure, larger, higher pressure. Gives you better cut depending on what kind of amp you're running, what kind of thickness you're cutting. You know, there's a whole, whole big long list of things to keep in your brain while you're doing it. But now that we got it fired up, we got it dialed in. Let's get it back up to 60 amps for this piece of half inch plate. Let's make some sparks. So I got some safety gear on. Going to put my glasses on here in a second. Machine's fired up at 60 amps. Piece of half inch coal roll plate. Let's see what happens. Damn, I like that. I went a little bit too slow. I should have gone a little bit faster travel speed, and I think that would have knocked that dross off as I was going. So, so that's my fault. But boy, the machine didn't quibble about half inch plate at all. So that's the Everlast Power Plasma 62i. This is the 62i with the CNC package. The regular one without the CNC package in it uh, it's regularly 1200 It's on sale right now for 1100 over on EverlastGenerator.com website. And the, C the CNC version, this machine, regularly 1500 right now is for sale at uh, 1350 And of course, it's got the IGBT uh, inverter technology in there. Sure, there's a lot fewer parts to wear out. It makes the machine lighter. You know, it makes the cost go down on it does have that big cooling fan in it to help keep it cool. That's where that 60% max output duty cycle comes from. So all in all, I think it's a pretty darn good machine, especially for the price. Well, I do appreciate you all watching. Why don't you reach up there and hit that notification bell so you know when anything new pops up. And I'll see you all next time. And it's got the IBGQPTXYZ inverter technology. <laughs>